Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So lately I've been going on these binges of uh, day in the life sort of videos and uh, this one caught my attention because uh, it's an experience that I've never had. It's called a day in the life of a Harvard student with 12.5 million views by uh, Sienna Santer. Santer. Sienna Santer. I don't know. Anyway, she posted this video three years ago. Gosh, 2019 was three years ago. Anyway, she posted this and uh, we gotta watch it. I've never seen it before and I have no idea what it's like in Harvard. So with that said, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and now with that said, let's begin. I wonder if Harvard's the place where they would look at YouTube videos and be like, what is that? What is a YouTube? <laughs> Just like, you know, turn their noses up at it. Or if they're like really loving YouTube too. I don't know. Do I, do I have anyone watching these videos from Harvard? If I do, comment down below. I don't know, I kind of think of like Harvard in my mind of just like, you know, the, the, the elite of the elite and like, oh, they wouldn't have time to watch YouTube videos, let alone a reaction channel of me watching someone else at Harvard. But uh, you know what? Prove me wrong. Just comment down below, let me know. So after my alarm goes off, I might snooze it a couple of times, but I try to get up and not stay in bed too long. Yeah, there's no context. We, we need a time on there. D is this 5 a.m.? Is it like 3 p.m. and she's out after like a late night of parties? What is it? What time? My guess, uh, judging by the uh, angle of the sun, gotta be, I don't know, 8 a.m., 8.30, right? Maybe, we don't know. It could be any time. And then I always make my bed first thing. Smart, you know, they say if you make your bed the first thing in the morning, it sets your entire day up for uh, basically success because in your mind, you finished one task as soon as you woke up and that sets uh, everything else into motion. I could agree with that completely. Basically, when I was living alone, I would always make my bed every single morning. It just, it was good feeling to walk back and be like, oh wow, the bed's made. Try it, do it, I think it'll help. And then I'll just go to the hallway bathroom and brush my teeth, wash my face, do my skincare routine, and just get ready for the day. Hallway bathroom, that looks like one of those communal bathrooms. Look at it, you got the hand dryer, I hate that. I like my own space. When I go to the bathroom, that's my, my, my safe spot. No one else has access to that. I don't do this every morning, but I try to do some yoga and stretch a little bit because I'm usually sore right when I wake up and I find that stretching just helps me prepare for my day better and puts me in a really good mood. Oh yeah, just wait until you're 30. Oh man, every morning I wake up and my neck hurts, my back hurts. It takes me like five minutes just to feel like a, a human being. It's bad. It's, it's not not even like the bad mattress or anything. It's just like, hey, I'm getting old. That's uh, They always used to joke about like, hey, your old body's gonna ache. Yep, I can attest to that. It just does. I like to meditate for like five to 10 minutes because I find that it just really helps me clear my mind and get focused and kind of get rid of all of the, the noise and the distracting thoughts that I'm always thinking about. So it really helps me just get my brain in a good mood for classes and just for enjoying things. Is this it's normal of a Harvard student? I'm not uh, up to date with the college kids these days, but like I would assume, and I never went to college, I would assume it's just like, hey, we're waking up at 1 p.m., uh, you know, a bit hungover from the night before, we're gonna drag ourselves to class a little bit late, hope the teacher doesn't notice, do the bare minimum, up, oh, some buddies are coming up. Like, it's just, it's just standard. I the thing I like about Care of is that they're all specialized to your needs. Guaranteed, they got a good ROI on this video. 12 and a half million views. The thing is, companies like this will sometimes take losses on so many videos, just because this one video will more than make up for it. 12 and a half million views, I, who knows how much they paid. If she's getting an affiliate on this, she's making bank. So my first class is Korean and I'm just doing a little bit of homework for that. Cartier bracelet, uh, looks like a Cartier bracelet. Maybe I'm wrong. This could be expensive. I thought this was for a second it's Supreme. No, it's just girl boss. Everyone started doing that logo now. Oh yeah, believe it or not guys. So I know what this says. It says uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already. That's what it says. Okay, maybe not really. But but anyway, go subscribe. You could always unsubscribe if you if you really don't like it in the future, you could always do that. But you could also subscribe and enjoy the content. My handwriting is kind of bad. Don't judge me, but I'm trying to get better. I wonder how many people are sitting there judging her handwriting in a language that most likely they're not familiar with. Like I would have no idea what's what's messy. To me this looks like uh, she may as well be uh, be an artist. It, it looks it looks pretty decent to me. And then I just pack my bag for the day and make sure I have everything and 
set out for my first class. Look at those buildings. It looks gorgeous there. Reminds me of Hogwarts. Not that I've been to Hogwarts. I've never been there, but <laughs> it, it looks so cool. Man. Most days I have time to get breakfast in the D hall, but today I didn't, so I just went and picked up a green juice. How much is that? We need a how much I spend in a day at uh, Harvard. Have, have people done that? How much I spend Harvard. Harvard. You know what's interesting? No one's really done how much I spend in a day as a Harvard student. That's interesting. Uh, someone should be doing that. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh. oh, that's so cute. Yes. Vlogging. <laughs> Vlogging, she's like, get out of the class, no cameras in the class, get out, no! And then after, I'll head to lunch, and this is Annenberg, the freshman dining hall, and this is where we eat all of our meals. Look at that, come on, can you not tell me that's Hogwarts? That is so cool. I was, I, I feel like they, they would charge money, I was about to say, they could charge money to go do that. How much is Harvard? How much is Harvard? Harvard is $54,000 a year, plus like tack on books and stuff like that, easily $70,000 a year to go to Harvard. And uh, wow, acceptance rate, 5%. So not only do you have to pay them 70 grand a year, but also uh, they're gonna say no to, to a lot of people. 95% of people do not get into Harvard, that's crazy. And then this is my friend Jonathan, and we were just grabbing a quick lunch before our classes, and he was showing off his tattoo. Just watch it be a like button. Watch it be like the bankroll coffee logo. My women and gender studies class, which is my favorite class, and I look forward to it every single week. All right, so what are we learning about? We see a two, negotiation. 20% of women don't negotiate. Oh, wow. Men negotiate 40% more than women. Must negotiate a first salary can cost or lose a quarter million dollars. This is a really good information. Women ask less and get less, 38% less than men. That I actually think is very interesting. Probably why there is a, a significant pay gap. I never even thought about that. It could simply just be like, they're not asking for as much. That. That's wild. After classes are done for the day, I'll head to the Smith Center, which is the campus center, and I have a job there. So I work at one of the desks and just kind of point people in directions and tell them where the bathroom is, and I get to do my homework while doing it, so it's a pretty nice job. Um, and I'll usually sit there for about two or three hours. That's usually the length of one of my shifts. She's actively buying and selling crypto while she's doing that. Latte is a favorite amongst Harvard students because it has really good food and coffee and it just has such a nice ambiance, so I always come here to study. Oh, that's so much cream. Why put that much, you're ruining the coffee. You're ruining, the <laughs> look at me, I have no cream. I'm, I'm out of cream, that's why. It looks like soda. Just coffee. I really like coffee shop vibes and the kind of background noise, so I really do a lot of my studying in coffee shops. Oh, that's interesting. I hate the background noise. It, for me, it's gotta be like perfectly silent with some uh, good old Philip Glass playing in the background. This is just some nice melodic piano music. I love that. Any distractions though, it throws me off. And then it's back to the Berg, which is what we call the freshman dining hall, and I'm getting dinner with my really good friend Lucy. Back at Hogwarts. Platform nine and three quarters. That's where we gotta go to get into this place. We went and did some cardio, so I like to go on the elliptical machines. Look at that gym, it's better than Equinox. Look at that. Wow, it's the best of the best. We usually go for like about an hour, maybe 45 minutes if I'm short on time. Only 45 minutes if I'm short on time, geez. My short on time is like, I'm just not going to the gym. And then straight from the gym, I head to my women in business committee meeting. And this is my chair, Samantha. She's so cute. I love her a lot. You know what's interesting? You could see uh, you know, retention on videos when you scroll around. Why does the retention spike right here of her just doing this with the Sour Patch Kids? It's odd that like people are scrolling there. This is Samantha. Hi. <laughs> well, Amanda's good for retention. Whatever she's doing, Bring her on more. And then when I get back, it's a little after 9 p.m., so I just shower and get ready for bed. <laughs> That's funny, you can, see you can see retention going up here too, gosh. At this point, it's about midnight, and I just switch off the light and go to bed and do it 
all again the next day. Wow, it's a good video. It's a good day in the life. It seems to me that uh, like really efficient. I don't know if every day is like this. I kind of believe it because because uh, it's hard. Why are comments turned off? What? Like, I I love going down to the comments and just seeing what people are writing. Well, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other video recommendations, just comment the titles down below. I had to block links because of all the scammers. So if you just comment the title, that would be great. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Feel free to add me on Instagram. If you got the podcast, the Ice Coffee Hour, go and add yourself that uh, as well. Thank you, and until next time.